Now, if y'all does not sound, that doesn't so it has a nice ring to it. It has a nice ring to it. I know that people are happy about it, so I'm really excited. Was there any pressure out there when you were throwing? Um, I think for me, I really just focus on making sure that I'm in good spirits and good preparations. I really focus on how I'm competing. Um, so, as far as pressure, I was confident in my training. I was confident in my practices. I was confident in how my warm-ups went. So I knew I was going to be able to pop a big one today. Awesome. How did you prepare for these games? So with preparations, obviously I was coming from Eugene um, for the World Championship. So um, had to make sure that my legs felt fresh. So shortly after coming and uh, flying into Birmingham, I did a shakeout at the track. Was able to get some videos. I've been going to the physio and the chiropractor while we're here at the Games Village. So that's been helpful to make sure I'm staying fresh and still explosive. Got some weightlifting in, and then just my coach was able to adjust my plan accordingly um, in order to set me up to compete in well. It's your first Commonwealth Games, Chioma, and you've got a gold medal on your yes. you've got a season's best. Yes. What was the inspiration? Um, I think for me, I'm from like the Tokyo Olympics, I really wanted to compete in a high level. Granted, this beginning of this year, I did have an injury that I was dealing with, so that took me a step back. So this Commonwealth was the first time I was able to kind of throw like pain free. So I was ecstatic to be able to push myself this time for competition. So um, I think mine was just like, I knew that I was able to throw really far, obviously coming from throwing 63-30 last year. So I knew that I could keep throwing more in the 60 range. So so, yeah. What's your Nigerian background and how proud are you to be representing Nigeria? As a Nigerian background, I'm from Abia State. I'm super proud to represent Abia. I'm super proud to represent Nigeria and I'm super proud to represent Africa and put Africa on the map for the women's discus. Awesome. This event um, for, the, for the women is just gaining momentum. What do you think champions such as you and other ladies can do to give it the sort of recognition that it deserves? I think for me, it's um, being Making sure that I keep making those finals, keep sure that I keep making those big steps in meddling and um, taking pretty much a seat at the table. So I think women's discus is heavily powered by the Europeans and the Americans. So I think me continuing to compete at the highest level, continuing to get those high marks and continue to improve my world ranking will keep um, pushing Africa forward. As a Nigerian based in the United States, how do you keep tabs with your Nigerian roots? Oh no, I, I travel to Nigeria quite often. My cousin's getting married here in December. I was married in Nigeria last year. So I'm, I'm in Nigeria quite often. Um, plus there is a huge community of the Nigerian um, Nigerians in America, especially in Detroit and the Maryland area. So my family keeps me grounded and rooted and I'm so grateful for them. How do we get more young girls, particularly the ones with the sort of talent that you have to get into to discuss and particularly sports? I think I think most people fear for like the throws wise is that we're the throws are very strong so we're in the weight room for long hours um, we're also a bit bigger because you got to put in weight to be able to push the discus so I think for the young girls is like don't be so t intimidated by the weight room and being uh, eating and making sure you're getting the right nutrition in order to perform well so I think most people are a little bit intimidated for the throws wise so I say just keep at it and you have to work really hard you have to keep a good training schedule. You have to make sure that you're still doing your sprints to stay explosive. You have to make sure that you're taking hours and hours and hours of throws. Like it's going to take a very long time to get good. You just have to keep practicing and trust yourself. How did you feel when the Nigerian national anthem was played? I was so happy. It was so good to hear it, and especially this being my first Commonwealth um, opportunity and being able to hear the national anthem play, I was ecstatic. And I think it was just so nice to not just have one Nigerian on the podium, but too so it was it was sweet it was really sweet and I was so happy how did you feel competing with Obi? It was, it's great competing with Obi. Obi and I have been competing together since I believe last year at National Trials as our first outcoming with the team and this is her first global championship that she's competing with Nigeria so it's been really good um, and I've been really happy competing with her I've been trying to take her under my wing and make sure that she's doing what due diligence she needs to prepare and making sure that she feels calm in the situations because the first major championships can be a little nerve-wracking so it just takes time and repetition to get calm and be trusting yourself and able to perform well and know that you deserve a seat in the table as much as everyone else you deserve to also medal as much as anyone else whether they're veterans or not especially like in this sport for discus throws and it's anyone's game really so anyone can necessarily take it so you just have to believe in yourself and get after it I'm 
sure you would have loved to keep the gold and the silver. <laughs> no, gold and silver would have been sweet. It really would have been sweet. Um, but Obi did amazing. She, I think right before we were about to have our third throw, she was sitting at 10th and then improved and moved to 7th, which is good because I think it takes top 8 to move to finals. So she knew what she needed to do in order to make finals. And then right after um, we made the finals, she was able to push forward and get that third position and hold it throughout. So I was very proud of her when she moved up to third. So I was like, yeah, now we're really going to put Nigel on top. So I was really excited. Awesome. Now you've got a Commonwealth gold medal yes. in the bag. What are the medals you want to put inside that bag? I definitely want to add a world medal on this bag. Um, it's going to be next year we have Worlds in Hungary. So I'm hoping to make my third world team and then also make the finals and be able to showcase my talent and get a medal as well. I think it would be, I don't know, the last time a Nigerian or even an African kind of medal for women's discus in the world stage. So I'm hoping to do that and have that push me forward for the Paris Olympics. Thank you.